How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the ROG Zephyrus G14 laptop, as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 8.2 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Prepare a pH0 bit. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Remove the 14 screws from the back cover. It's recommended to use a magnetic storage pad to prevent screw confusion or loss. To open the case, prepare a triangle pry bar and a spudger. Lift the laptop and aim at the side of the body. Insert the triangle pry bar into the gap of the case and pry along the top and side edges. Repeat the same on the other side. Avoid using excessive force to prevent damage to the case. After opening the case, use two spudger bars to push and remove the battery wires. Remember to press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge after disconnecting the battery. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Prepare tweezers. Push the connector forward. Then tear off the wires from the heatsink module. Similarly, remove the screws and fans. Use a pH0 bit to unscrew the eight screws on the heatsink in the order indicated to avoid damaging the core due to uneven force. When removing screws, choose a high-quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo E01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna and slowly apply force to remove the heat sink. Next, clean the thermal paste from the heat sink. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Use thermal paste cleaning wipes to clean the dried thermal paste on the CPU and GPU. Step 4. Clean the fan. Prepare a brush and compressed air. Use the brush to clean the dust from the fan and heat sink. Then use compressed air to clean the details. Keep a short distance when using compressed air to avoid liquid spray. After cleaning the heat sink, clean the dust from the body and details using compressed air.
Don't forget to clean the back cover, these areas also tend to accumulate dust. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used cooling Monster Cold to 01 high performance thermal paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Align the holes of the heatsink and press down to install it. Use a PH0 bit to install the heatsink in the order indicated. It's recommended to tighten the 8 screws to 70% first to avoid excessive stress, then tighten them all. First, plug in the fan wires on both sides and reattach the fans. then screw in the two screws. Repeat the same on the other side. Reconnect the connector, then reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna, ensuring the black wire is close to the screw. Reattach the battery and check if the laptop can boot normally. Finally, close the laptop cover, lock the clips, and screw in the 14 screws. And then the job is done! Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster, and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.